I went downstairs to make a coffee, I come back upstairs with the CRT glasses, which need a bit of a clean, I think. Maybe the uh, steam from the coffee will help the situation. Uh, so I guess we're doing the story of uh, my E36 BMW Coupe, which is a weird one. Let's go. Trainers. Uh, well, we can have unlimited lives. No, because we have an invincibility. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to double the speed of the game. Yeah, yeah, I don't really think we need a level skipper, but yeah, see, I went to get a bacon sandwich, come back with a BMW coupe, and that's uh, really where this story begins. How the fuck does that happen? Well, my mate, uh, he said to me, look, I want to buy one of these BMW coupes. Can you come to the uh, car auctions with me? Because you know more about BMWs than me and cars in general, probably. Although I'm not a mechanic. But I'm sure I explained on one of my videos, the uh, Siler stroke Gabriel, Gabriel Grey qualities of uh, my mind back then. Uh, F11 player game. Uh, is it joystick port 1? No, it's joystick port uh, 2. Good. Yeah, I actually had this game. So I was like, yeah, alright then, mate. But, uh, you know, you owe me a bacon sandwich and a cup of tea. Because uh, the canteen at uh, British Car Auctions was actually... Uh, uh, pretty good, I must admit. Ah, oh, god damn it. Ah, yeah, see, I would have lost a life there. It's... Although I don't think the game is too slow as such. I'm sure the, uh, the trick here is to get all the diamonds uh, in a row. If they're up against something else. So, um, yeah, so, uh, so they picked me up. And uh, we went down there, and uh, there's this actually, uh, it's not what I would have bought because I prefer the uh, the six cylinder engine models, but it was very clean, it was only about four years old, maybe even less than that, and it had a dirty great sticker on it from some uh, car finance company. Ah, oh, crap. I could have sworn that's how you uh, finish the level. Do you have to make them touch us? Touch the sides. Wizard sleeve jokes are a plenty on this channel. Um. So, but uh, and it had no MOT. So, is there a time limit gain on here? This music was nice. I remember this. Very nice instruments. Nice little animation there. It's a different level. I've got no idea how the level ended. Alright. I think you have to destroy all the flashing blocks. So maybe that's how you do it. And maybe the uh, diamonds are a bonus forever. So I'm really just trying to work out what you're supposed to do on the game. We used to play Pengo in the arcade. Not not that much. I'm more of a shoot 'em up fan. But we did play it. I think my mate played it more than me. So, uh... so yeah, anyway. Uh, uh, we look over the car and everything. Uh, you know, before it goes into the auction. Do you have to kill all the monsters? Is that what's going on with that? No, it's, it's not. I'm not really sure how 
how you clear the level. It's always been a slight issue with this game. Now, I think one of these blocks is one that we have to uh, destroy. So it's not that. So I've got no idea actually. Perhaps you have to uh, get them all the way. So anyway, I look over the car, you know, we test the basic stuff. We do like a very basic MOT test out there within a few minutes. Check out how the engine runs. Uh, looking at the uh, car finance sticker and um, the fact that you could actually see the offices of that car finance company from the uh, yard of the uh, you know British car auctions where the cars were not that particular car that was uh, in the uh, roofed area I don't think it's a good game for this uh, particular story so it's all good you know, gears are fine, accelerates fine, engine sounds good, no smoke out of the exhaust on the cold start, no funny smells, which would indicate the uh, catalytic converters are fuck, all that kind of stuff. Even had the uh, dual climate control, separate temperature for passenger and uh, driver. It's a nice colour, uh, it's white. White was. Uh, always my favorite color for cars because i'm from the 80s maybe there's some miami vice influence there i don't know so i go back to the calf and uh, the stupid idiot he ain't got his debit card with him has he so i can't bid on the car because obviously he didn't bring cash and uh, before he picked me up i had to go in and uh, pay some uh, checks in for stuff i'd sold on ebay and um so I knew how much money I had in my account. And I was actually looking up BMW coupes. Four and six cylinder engine models. Uh, at the time. So I knew a rough idea of how much they cost. I don't think they're attractive cars. But they are very good cars. They're, they're one of the best made BMWs you can buy. At any price. Certainly if you want a modern classic. So anyway, uh, I had my bacon sandwich, possibly some hot chocolate. I had a thing about hot chocolate back then. I think I saw something on TV about, you know, French people have hot chocolate for breakfast. Although they have it in a bowl, not a cup. Um, and I think I started having hot chocolate for breakfast then. So I was like, yeah, yeah. Compared to coffee and tea, hot chocolate is great. I used to have hot chocolate all the time in... Uh, wimpy as part of the uh, deal for pulling the uh, you know trolley full of shopping all the way home when I was like 13 14 yeah I was I was a uh, man sized by the age of 13 well fucking electric shaver for my 14th birthday that's how shit it was and it's not great it's nothing to be proud of because uh, the the quicker you hit puberty <laughs> the quicker you're gonna die yeah, it's just way it is mate so we're like mm, okay well let's just go and see how much it's going to go for just out of interest now because the car didn't have an MOT uh, the private buyers would be put off by that but you know like I said we'd seen the uh, you know the car finance sticker in the back of the car I can't remember what the name of the company is still on the car I think Horribly faded, obviously. Because um, I couldn't get a bastard thing off 20 years ago. This is old for whitey. Is there anything interesting here? So, yeah, the car comes round and uh, there's two people bidding on it. They look like dealers, but they might not have been. Um, and uh, it was... It was fairly late actually in the uh, order so we're like um no oh, look there's white viper there just to tempt me i actually played most of these oh knock with the uh, trainer options that might work well there is a Porsche in there after all now the reason why I do like the uh, BMW coupes is because they have frameless doors. Like Michael Knight's uh, car in uh, Knight Rider. 
Although the 6 series uh, BMWs had frameless doors in the 70s, so there's nothing special. Yeah, it's all marketing, but anyway. Um, so yeah, the car come round and uh, we've already tested it out, like I've said. The car was mint condition. Um, didn't have sport seats, didn't have a 6 cylinder engine. Didn't have uh, the M3 boot spoiler, not the crappy small one you got on the other BMWs. And um, the car, the bidding, I think it started to peter out at about 2,700 quid. And I'm like, hmm, hmm, this is cheap. And I was like, I, I could actually buy this car and sell it on for a bit of a profit because I had a mechanic that I trusted now nah, we're fucked this is nostalgia stupid mad Commodore stop downloading off game base if it says nostalgia on the uh, game base thing there don't, don't fucking bother because uh, more often than not it does not work nah, I don't want them uh, return to select uh, yeah, all right. We'll have to have these then. I just have everything. CBM as level skip start game, and it don't work. But because I'm doing my happy memories of my uh, BMW. Oh no! Spoiler alert. So <laughs> yeah, uh, so it's like twenty seven hundred. 2750 and uh, the other there's only two people bidding on it left and uh, I already knew the prices uh, they were about four to four and a half grand and the car was mint condition and you know yeah, the mileage was all right I think it was uh, about 95,000 for a four-year-old car which is relatively high I suppose um, and the mileage was warranted there was no service history but the mileage was warranted so I could actually if I was going to sell it and I was like yeah you know it's alright bum around in it for a bit not literally you keep your pants on when you come in my car mate oh god that sounds even worse anyway so I just like stick my hand up and I win it for something stupid like 29 hundred or twenty nine fifty and then of course you've got to add the uh, buyer's premium bullshit on there and uh, all the other stuff going on and um, I bought that car took it took it home and the story doesn't end there because uh, I think we had the worst traffic jam on this uphill section of the A road where the flyover is there's like static traffic for like well, almost static. You couldn't actually stop your car. So the traffic was crawling along in this big uphill section. And the clutch started to burn out. And I was like, yeah, bollocks. What have I got myself into here? Even though the car's cheap. It's like, if you start adding up anything you might have to do for the MOT and a new clutch, you're like, well, it's a waste of time. But... Uh, trying to think what game to play with this yeah oh, let's do some now games bullshit then no actually I don't want to do that because they have to be done separately let's just go in here Actually, I could have loaded up. Uh, you've got a bit of a static electric shock there going on the CDTV from the TVA. Eh, uh, let's have a look what's going on in here then. Yeah, that's not the exterminator I'm thinking of. World CLR, whatever that means. Uh, what was that uh, Houston game? 
Yeah, I probably should have thought this through better, but hey. I'm sure there was a game called Mandroid on the uh, C64. Ah, bollocks, they're all out of uh, thingy, ain't they? Well, this is a uh, show. I've got the uh, case for show jumping, but you don't want me to play that. Let's try Plasmatron, sounds like a uh, shoot em up. So, yeah, you know, I got the car home and I was like, oh, what have I done? You know, I couldn't really, it's not money I could afford to throw away. I was only buying it because it was going like a grand and a half potentially. Anyway, booked it in for the MOT, took it there the next morning. My mate Lenny, who worked at the garage, yeah, he's a bit of a character actually. Uh, I left the car with him. Uh, I said to him, uh, you know, I just bought this car. Uh, you know, I need it MOT'd. So this car's like nearly four years old. So it's, you know, I think that will make it his second MOT. Uh, yeah, that's right, because you get three years uh, exemption, and then after three years you have to MIT your car. Ministry of Transport Test, MIT test, that's what it stands for. So, um, oh, bollocks, what kind of shoot em up is this shit? I'm not going to like this game. This is shit, I just, oh, fuck, you know what? So, um, no, actually, things have improved massively. I thought that was the actual game screen. Yeah, this is good. Nice bit of parallax. Three level parallax. Don't get distracted, Mad Commodore. I really like this stuff. Oh, bloody hell, this is brilliant. It looks great, actually. I don't know when this came out, but the shadow effects are brilliant. The parallax is super smooth. Graphics are more than four colours, which is always actually are they? CRT glasses to the maximum. There's a hell of a lot of games here that ain't got fucking trainer options on them. What the hell are they doing? But I suppose if you find a game you like, then you can change it. So anyway, I come back to the car and he's like, yeah, Lenny's like, I need to talk to you, mate. And I'm like, well, what's happened? It failed the MOT. And, uh, He's like, no. He goes, how much did you pay for this car? I actually didn't say no. And I was like, why? He goes, this is the cleanest, like, four-year-old car I've ever seen. He said, it looks brand new. Underneath, in the arches, everywhere. And uh, I was like, yeah. So, you know, it was sort of a mate. Because uh, he used to, like, come in my dad's, uh, wait, don't be rude chip shop which was like across the road from the uh, garage where they worked so I used to have lunch in there my dad had a really good chip shop actually and uh, you know I was like yeah I, I told him he's like ah that's a bargain he goes look I'm yeah pass the MOT no problem at all he goes if you want to sell this car he goes let me know I'll buy it off you straight away uh, you know so I obviously rounded it up to like three and a half grand or something and he would expect me to have something back so I was like mm, that's interesting when a mechanic says that to you a good mechanic hey can we fit BMW coupe in there CPE is the standard uh, thingy for that so uh, yeah I've got the car MOT then I insured it and uh, after that little incident with a clutch, I never had a problem with that car for like five years or six years. And then I only changed it because uh, I wanted something else. But I kept the car and I still got that car. It's still there. It's, it's still in me, in me garage. And I'll never sell it because, well, it's my car. I've owned it for like Let's work this out. Yeah, one and a half decades actually. It's the longest I've ever owned a car. So it's a shame there's no trainer options on this, but this is actually not a bad game. 
this is pretty good for this. The, the graphics kind of remind me of uh, modern homebrew games with all the blue and purple and yellow going on. But uh, no, the graphics look alright. It might be a character based mode because of all the parallax going on. But uh, no. It looks better than Nemesis on the C64 anyway. I actually quite like the shadow. So I have to hold down to stay down. I don't know what happened there. You only get one life, so you might. Do you only get one life? Yeah, you do, so it must be energy based. We've done terrible, yeah. So, yeah, that's the story of my BMW coupe and a very shit review of Plasmatron and possibly a bit of Petch. Never had this, would have liked it. Did have Petch. And I did like that game. Uh, I think it was like seven quid. From Derrick Records or Video Wheels in Edmonton. Can't really uh, find any information uh, about Video Wheels. Somewhere the son of the owner of Video Wheels. Who used to uh, play C64 games with us on a Saturday when we go in there. Um you know trying out games that we were going to buy because we were no trouble we were respectful kids back then yeah is there anything else I need to play uh, I just want to think if there's anything in here Oh, that's interesting, it's something called new for YP. Right, okay. Pirates don't work. What's uh, Mike Gunner? Mike Hunt. Who's calling Mr. Hunt? Who? Mike Hunt is on the phone for you, is he? He must be using a call list then. Hey! The old ones are the best, eh? I used to have a really nice uh, Casio cordless phone, not the digital ones now, the old, the old ones. Hello mate, where are you? Eh? Oh, there you are. What does that mean? You want to go out? She doesn't like leaving the room, that's the problem. Even when she uh, should really, you know, like to go and have a sip of water, maybe some biscuits. Definitely for the litter tray. That's uh, that's non-negotiable. That one. Uh, but she's afraid she won't be allowed back in here. But now that I've sorted things out in this room, is uh, there's nowhere for her to actually hide. So when I'm leaving the room, you know, then she has to uh, leave the room if I'm not coming back in the room. So we had all this coffee, we had a nice little story about the old BMW. So I might fix that car up a bit, but... I went and I had a look at the car the other day, after doing all that gardening. And, uh, and there's no rust on that car at all. And that car is like two and a half decades old, but there is no rust on it. Nowhere. And it had a bit of a rubbish uh, accident repair, because uh, some fucking uh, idiot uh, just did a hit and run. I think it was a shitty Rover 25 or something. It was red anyway, I think. Uh, yeah, right, okay, F1, da, 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 and da. Graficos, right, okay, dynamic software, oh, we're fucked, their yeah, games are shit most of the time. Yeah, there's no rust on that car at all. I was actually thinking of getting the number plate, ZOM881E, yeah, that was it. Right. Well, I presume that's one player. So the 
SD to IC light is not on. Okay. So I'm pressing uh, one and two. Uh, I think we can end the story there because uh, the SD to IC cracks are playing up and it 